Good morning guys, if you're new here, I am Kay and I am a part-time reseller and today I am driving up to the bins for the first time in 2022. I have not been to the bins since November of last year, so it's been a long time coming. I love going because the cost of goods is great, especially with my local thrift stores having increased prices, you know, the economy, inflation, all of that good stuff. So it's probably the best cost of goods besides free that I can get. Um, so I have the day off from work. I am a little late this morning. Usually I get there for when they open at seven um, and I've never been past like the opening time. So I don't know how good it's gonna be. I also know that they have since increased their price since I was last there. It's now $2 a pound. I think it was like $1.69 or something like that um, prior. Um, so we'll see if we can still go and find some stuff to resell even with the cost increase. So let's come along. Okay, you guys, so clearly we're in the car about ready to go. Um, it's raining today, which is kind of why I am running a little bit late. Um, if you didn't know, I do wear contacts, and so driving in the dark and in the rain is problematic for me, and I didn't want to make the hour and 15-minute drive in the darkness while it's raining, so I decided to wait until it was a little bit lighter outside. I'm glad that I did because I don't think I would have done well in this heavy rain. But anyway, let's make that drive. I have water with me. I don't have a snack, but there is a Dunkin' Donuts right near the bins. Um, so if I need to pop out for a little bit and grab something to eat, I can do that. So without further ado, let's go. I don't know how much footage I will get in there. Um, they're sometimes okay with filming, sometimes not, and I'm flying solo, so it might be hard to get some footage, but I'll do my best, and then we will do a haul when I get back. See if we can get a cart, guys. Got a cart, yay. I just sold something similar, had the same saying on a t-shirt. It's Danny Duncan, he's a YouTuber. This box totally rocks. Surprisingly, this Starbucks cup was not hurt. All right, who here on my channel remembers these dot matrix printers? Yay for a squish. About to see a blast from the past from my former life as an obstacle course racer. only Lululemon I managed to find. One squish. Two squish. Three squish. And four squish. And then a Pokemon plush. Grab those for my resale business, not to resell, just for packaging. And another set of Lululemon masks. Moment of silence for this lonely kid's Birkenstock. All sorted, time to go. I spent a whopping $58. Okay guys, so I'm out of the store. Um, I haven't left yet, I'm still in the parking lot, so don't come for me, I'm not driving and vlogging. Um, if you like to sell clothing and shoes, when we get to the haul portion in the next clip, you're gonna be a bit disappointed. Um, they only rotated the clothes out one time while I was there for four hours, so there's that it was slim pickings for clothes I got two pairs of shoes and maybe like five or six pieces of clothing so it's mostly gonna be hard goods just a disclaimer um, so you don't waste your time watching the haul if that's not your thing so the bins is the best place to be honest to try new stuff um, it's also a good place to pick up things for cheap that you wouldn't normally pick up from a regular thrift store so I did get some brands 
and items that I wouldn't pick up anywhere else but the bins and we'll talk about that when we go and do the haul so let me drive home again it's like a little over an hour drive it's still raining cats and dogs outside luckily I bought a blanket in the bins so I was able to cover all of my stuff in the cart just to get it outside to my car um, and I will catch you at home for the haul all right guys so it's time for the haul so I got 29 pounds even and so my total at two dollars a pound was 58 dollars exactly I don't know how many items I got so after when I'm going to edit this video um, I will put somewhere on the screen um, my average cost of goods for all of the items the 58 divided by however many I got let's get right into it so Again, this was my first time back at the bins in over a year. Um, they've since increased their price to $2 a pound for the textiles. I think everything else is pretty much the same, like 20 cents a pound for like glass and books and stuff like that. Um, I go to the New Hampshire location. It's in Hudson, New Hampshire. They do have a retail store that is right next door to it. It has slightly different hours. So if you want to go up that way, um, the bins open at seven and the retail outlet, retail store, sorry, opens at 9 a.m. So without further ado, let's get into this haul. So I think I did get some footage in the store um, of these. These are just Scotch postal wrapping. Um, I buy these from Target. I want to say they're six to eight dollars a roll, and I have one, two, three, four of them. They're all brand new. I use these for my posh packages, sometimes for eBay, um, but less so because this paper is pretty heavy duty, um, so it does weigh quite a bit, and it adds to you know the weight of the package which my buyers and therefore me are paying for so i typically only use them for posh packages um but yeah i like stuff them into shoes i wrap shoes and other items in it uh so i'm happy that now i don't have to spend you know 20 such dollars roughly a little bit more um to buy some when i run out so i have four rolls of that okay so as you probably saw in the thumbnail i did get a tea kettle um, as you can see right here it does have some wear it is Le Creuset this is the first time I've ever found this before I'm assuming nobody picked it up because it's got damage it needs a wash and also it has that big flaw like I showed you um, I found this lid first and I was like oh there must be something that goes with it and then I found the tea kettle so I don't know how much it's gonna go for with this spot right here. It's like the enamel. Looks like it just wore off. Um, I do have barkeeper's friends, so I could probably clean up that bottom. Um, I don't know, maybe $20 for that. We will have to see once I can shine it up a bit. Like I said earlier, um, I got mostly hard goods. So if hard goods aren't your thing, this is not the best haul for you. Um, but I like learning about new stuff and I'm always you know, happy to at least make my trip worth it i'm driving over an hour each way um, so that's gas it's mileage on my car and so i definitely want to come home with something at least so it helps me to expand my horizons so to speak um, you probably saw this flashing in and out because i'm talking with my hands this is clearly pikachu the pokemon if you're unfamiliar he's super soft feels kind of like a squishmallow here is the tag just the pokemon w Hi Clove, WCT tag. Not expecting a lot for him, but I love to pick up Pokemon. This, however, is kind of a bolo. Uh, I found this in a clothing bin that had just been rolled out, so it wasn't like somebody threw it back in there. It just happened to be buried under a pile of clothing. This, I just thought was gonna be like a Disney store plush or like a Disney parks. It's actually a Scentsy Buddy. I have sold two Scentsy Buddies before. I didn't know they made Disney ones. Um, so he's got like a little star here and he opens in the back so that you can put a scent packet in there. Uh, he does have one actually. And it has stitch on it. Stitch Experiment 626. And it does still smell. Um, and comps on stitch are upwards of 40 plus for pre-owned. Um, you can get like 60 plus if it's brand new um, with or without the packet. So yeah, I'm really excited to get this guy listed. He's in excellent condition as well. Um, so really excited for him. 
Okay, next I have two items and one of them is going to be a personal one, um, but they are both kind of similar. Uh, they are butterbeer mugs. They're like the plastic ones that you get from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter when you go and get butterbeer. They have different varieties of butterbeer, by the way. They have like a regular, a hot, and a frozen, I believe. Um, I already have this one, so I am going to sell this maybe seven, eight dollars on eBay. I don't have this one though, so I am going to add this to my little Harry Potter shelf. I have a whole shelf dedicated to my um, love of Harry Potter. These next two things are gonna go to my antique booth. Um, this first one is a vintage mug. It's like a golf mug. This is a golf club putter. I don't know, I don't golf. Um, it has a little guy taking a swing here and a golf ball, it's like 3D. Um, and this is from 1989, I think, yeah. 1989, I don't know if you guys can even read that. It says Chadwick something. Uh, but yeah, this is going to my antique booth. And then I have this little like mercury glass tree. I think it's supposed to go over like a tea light or something similar, but I am just going to put this in my booth because you know, it's Christmas time. So hopefully someone will grab this. If not, I will either keep it for next year if I think I'm going to continue with my booth or probably list it over on eBay. All right, I did get some toys and other plushies. I know I've shown you a few plushies already. This is gonna be a donation for Toys for Tots. I shop for Toys for Tots every year and um, usually I go to Target, um, but I also look in thrift stores too for brand new toys that have never been used and I donate those as well. This has its tag. Um, Elsa is still in her little plastic thing. It's a little people set um, from Disney's Frozen and I guess there are two other ones and then you can attach them together if you want and it makes like a triangle with a little house on all sides. So that is getting donated. This is a Hello Kitty plush. I'm not expecting a lot for this either. It's from Just Play uh, Sanrio. So she's like a little baker Hello Kitty. I have sold quite a few Hello Kitty plush. They usually move really quickly for me. This is a personal buy. I was literally just talking about this movie the other day um, and I haven't seen it in a while so I decided to just grab it. I did check it in the store to make sure that the disc was in there, it was the correct one and that it wasn't too scratched. I think I showed this in the thrift with me as well. This is a Starbucks mug. I'm not even showing you the side with the siren logo. It's from 2020, so fairly recent um, mugs tend to sit for me from Starbucks, uh, but I have been selling quite a few lately, so maybe they're on the up again and I can move that one rather quickly. This is another antique booth find. It's like that Filipino made wood um, and it does have some um, carving inset in there. There's like a flower. Um, so yeah, probably eight to $10 on this one. Another booth item, I got a brass candlestick. Um, it just says Venus solid brass made in Japan. Uh, these usually do pretty well for me in the booth as in they move fast, not for a lot of money, but they move fast. Yet another booth find, this is the best place for me to pick up stuff for my booth because the cost of goods is so low. Um, this is just a little woven basket. It's very small, I mean, it, it's smaller than my hand, um, but people will still buy them. They really like that style of basket um, versus like the traditional wicker baskets. Those move faster for me. More Harry Potter stuff. I found two pygmy puffs. If you're familiar with Harry Potter at all, I found the pink one first and then the purple one. Trivia question, if you know what is the name of Ginny Weasley's pygmy puff, I'll give you a few seconds. He's lovely. They've been known to sing on Boxing Day, you know. Um, but yeah, these are from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. They both have like the little um, charm on them and you can add them to your keys. These are fairly expensive. I mean, because you're getting them at an amusement park at Universal Studios and everything is pricey there. Um, also the answer to the trivia question, it's Arnold. Yes, I am that much of a nerd. Okay, this is a Funko Minis, I think. It says Funko on the bottom. I haven't Googled it or looked it up in any way to figure out what exactly it is, but it is Pennywise from It, 
Again, he is stamped Funko on the bottom. I know sometimes these can be collectible, so I just saw it in the bottom of the bin and decided to pick it up. This, I don't know the name of. It's a little dragon. I see them all the time when I take my daughter to Newberry Comics. It's in like the blind box section. So I'll have to ask her what it is, but again, collectible. Sometimes they can go for decent money. I mean, decent money, like 10 to $12, depending on the rarity of the figure. I did grab this airy bag at the bins just so I could put some stuff in it and take it home. Um, next, please don't come for me. I said I was done with this brand a year or two ago, um, but I picked it up again. This is Ray Dunn. It's brand new in the box. That's literally the only reason I picked it up. It's a guac and salsa bowl set and it comes with like the little scoops. I did open it in the, sh in the store and check to make sure everything was good. So it has the two little spoons still in plastic wrap on the top and then the bowls inside say guac and salsa. I just thought it would be like a nice little gift set for someone for Christmas maybe. Okay, I think I showed this in the thrift with me portion. I found another Pokemon plush. This is Sobble. Sobble as in like sad sobbing Sobble. Um, he looks pretty sad to be honest. He just has a Pokemon um, tag, not the WCT like the Pikachu. And this one's actually from 2022 according to the butt tag. So I don't know who didn't want this cute little Sobble plushie, um, but he will hopefully have a new home shortly. Okay, and then I found not one, not two, not three, not four, but five Squishmallows. So I found this one first. It's like a little owl in a jack-o'-lantern with a witchy hat. Um, then I found the raccoon. I don't know the names of any of these. Uh, and then I think this is like a goat. He's adorable. Then I found the Dumbo in a different bin, um, like in the next row over, and I don't know why no one liked him. He's really cute, and he does have like a s couple small stains, but they're really tiny, and if you guys didn't know, I do have a how to clean a Squishmallow uh, video here on my channel. It's less than a minute long. Um, if you're interested, I can link it. And then I found this one like an hour or two later. Uh, this one is a Claire's exclusive. It does have a Claire's booty tag. Um, and this one does need a lot of work. She's, she's rough. Um, so I will definitely be cleaning her. Um, but yeah, five Squishmallows in one thrift trip. And Clove just crawled into that empty, airy bag. This is a personal find, but I'm sure I could probably resell it if I wanted to. This is a Canon branded camera bag. Um, the current camera that I'm using, that I'm filming on, um, that I film all my videos on, is not big enough for this. But at some point, I do want to upgrade my camera for, you know, like really good travel content, videos, photos, stuff like that. And I want to also invest in some lenses. So I'm keeping this for myself so that when the time comes, I have something nice and structured to keep everything handy. Uh, this little divider, it's just, you know, Velcro in here so you can adjust as needed to fit camera lenses all that good stuff um, and I like a Canon product so that's probably what I'm going to go with when the time comes um, so this is for me for later okay I probably will sit on this for a while but come on look how cute this is it's brand new it's never been worn everything's still in the plastic inside um and it's clearly a lion cub costume from spirit but it was just so darn adorable that i couldn't leave it in a bin okay so these probably weren't the best pickup and they're a little iffy because i found them in the bins but they're brand new in the box still they are lululemon double strap masks i love lululemon masks i have a bunch of them from you know when the pandemic was 
a lot worse than it is at the moment two years two and a half years in um, but I like the ones that go over your ears this one goes over your head um, so yeah I, I don't know if people are still gonna want these are still looking for these I know they did sell out pretty quickly um, you know a couple years ago a year or two ago there are three in each package and they're all black um, I do know that when I just went to Europe, there were still a lot of people in the airports on the plane wearing masks. So it's still a thing. I just don't know how much someone's going to want to buy Lululemon ones, you know. Okay, and this is everything I have left besides one blanket, which I'll show you last just because it's on the floor right now. Um, so this is the clothing and shoes. And... Yeah, like I said, there's not much to be had in there. Sorry for the noise. Clove is running around the floor inside of one of the reusable bags. Um, so I got two pairs of these. They're different brands. I don't know why someone threw them back because these sell really well for me, no matter what brand it is and what the condition is. I can probably get at least $35 per pair. They are rock climbing shoes. Um, you see how the arch is so severe it's so that you can and the toe is pointed so you can grip on the rocks these are La Sportiva brand I have sold a pair from this brand before again 35 plus for these these are a size 43 and a half um, I mean they have like chalk on them from you know putting it on the rocks probably at a gym um, to climb with that's that's normal it's not going to affect their resale value and this one is from Scarpa I don't think I've sold this one before but again same concept these are just quite a bit smaller um, both made in Italy this one is a size 40 and a half um, the tag on this one is a little faded inside with the size but again just some chalk on them and otherwise they're still in really good condition. I did get a bag, um, this or a wristlet, I don't know. I think it's kind of more like a wristlet, not a bag. This is Hobo International. I've sold a wallet once before that was flawed. This one does have some issues. It's faded, it's got some marks on it. I'm gonna try to clean it up a little bit with my Doc Martens Wonder Balsam. Um, but I don't know how much that's gonna really change it. This is what the inside looks like. Um, and it does say, if I can get it to show you, Hobo International inside. Oh, I did find a, I think this is a loci bracelet. It doesn't say it anywhere, but it's similar to that. And I think I'm just gonna give it to Liv uh, because she's started to wear like a, a couple bracelets and she kind of lines her whole arm. All right, now everything else should be clothing, and again, there's not much. This is Brooks, size extra small. I have never picked up this brand before. Um, I have gotten a pair of shoes in like a thread up box that I sold, but never in clothing. I just figured someone might like it to pair with their running sneakers. Some people, myself included, um, like to be consistent with their branding um, of their fitness apparel. This is the Brooks logo back here. Um, it does have a built-in bra. So I, I, again, probably $12, maybe 15 if I'm lucky. Okay, this was in a bin. Someone just left it back. It's nothing super crazy. Um, it is a sports bra. It's like a blue kind of shiny metallic. Um, here is the back. And this is Kalia Carrie Underwood's fitness line. If you can see, it's like a little rubbery tag. This is a size, did I show it? Yeah, extra small. I don't know, again, maybe $10, $12. This I just got so that I can include it with an Athleta purchase. Athleta is my best selling brand this year. Sadly, I didn't find any in the bins or any Lululemon except for the masks. But um, if I ever find Athleta Girl, I'll just probably package it in this and ship it with that order. I keep these, I see Lululemon ones in the store all the time. I pick those up too and then I just send them off when I make a Lululemon sale. This, I don't know what this is gonna go for, if it's even worth, worth anything, but it was so cute and I had to get it. It's like a little baby onesie. 
which by the way don't use that word on ebay because they will give you a vero it's from ralph lauren size six months i don't know i just thought it was cute it doesn't look like it was ever worn there is like a little plastic barb still if you can see it down here um but no tag attached there are no stains on it and if you have children or have been around children you know that everything gets dirty really quickly when there's a baby involved but it says switzerland up here ralph lauren polo team there's another like little polo patch here i just thought it was really cute okay this brand i know is pretty expensive um but the resale value just isn't really there but sometimes when i find something that's cheap enough aka the bins i will pick it up and give it a go um this is a size medium it's duluth trading um the buttons are on the right and i think it was uh the french teacher in va she has a youtube channel she told me that men's pieces have the buttons on the right because men always think they're right so i will never forget that uh, but this is just like a short sleeve plaid button down because the collar button's down. So yeah, maybe 15 to 18. And the second to last piece and the last piece of clothing actually is Patagonia. I found these in a bin of hard goods. I, I don't know. There was stuff everywhere. I don't think someone left them back because it was a new bin. Uh, people just weren't looking for clothing in those bins, so they got left behind. Patagonia usually gets scooped up pretty quickly. Uh, these are, are a size small. They unfortunately don't have the fabric content tag, which usually also has the style number, but that's totally fine. I still think they'll sell regardless. They have a hidden waistband pocket, and they are like a printed legging. Nice quality. They do have a little V in the back which like the Lululemon aligns, accentuates the bum. And the last piece I have to share with you in this haul is going to my antique booth, um, but I could sell it on eBay if I wanted to. I have sold similar on eBay, um, but this is a really nice quality throw blanket. Um, it has fringe. It's like a nice fall color and I know we're approaching winter right now so not the best time for this seasonal colorway but I just thought it was really beautiful. It's super soft and like I said well made. I didn't see any stains on it. No pulls, no nothing. So I will probably put 20-ish dollars on this blanket um, and go from there. If it doesn't sell in my booth in a certain amount of time, I'll probably just pull it and sell it over on eBay. And that's my haul, guys. So 29 pounds, $58. Um, I think probably my favorite find is that Stitch Scentsy Buddy. I think he's kind of buried right now. Yeah, this guy. Um, just because I was surprised at the comps and I, again, didn't know that Disney and Scentsy Buddy had a thing, had a collab. I thought they were just like random animals. Like I've sold a monkey and I sold a little lamb. The lamb one was really tiny um, and it still went for I think close to $20. The monkey I believe I got somewhere in the $25 area. So yeah, I'm really excited about him. I'm also excited about the Harry Potter stuff, the two pygmy puffs and the two butterbeer things. And yeah, it wasn't the best day that I've ever had in the bins, but it was nice to be back in the swing of things, even though it does tend to get crazy real fast in there. It can also be gross, so if you're squeamish, just be warned. Um, I love the bins. I wish it was closer, because I would definitely go more, because you just can't beat that cost of goods, and it definitely would help me you know, increase my profit overall for the year, since I'm only part-time, but it just isn't feasible for me to get there all the time. Anyways, that's everything for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. As always, let me know in the comments down below how you like the bins. Do you have a bins in your area? It's the Goodwill Outlet, by the way. If you didn't know, the Goodwill Outlet, aka the bins, because they literally roll everything out in big blue bins. 
Um, so yeah, let me know what your situation is with the bins down below. Do you like shopping there? Do you avoid it at all costs? And also let me know what your favorite item from this haul was. I always love to hear that. So if you like this video at any point, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube to know what type of content you enjoy seeing from me. If you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.